everybody, we got another knife review today, and it's going to be on the Spyderco Manix 2 Lightweight. So there's definitely a lot of pros and cons with this blade, and uh, yeah, it's really well manufactured, and it's made from good old USA stuff, and made in Golden Colorado, USA Earth. So yeah, let's uh, just jump into it with the pros and the cons of the Spyderco Manix 2. So, starting off with the blade, definitely has some of the best pros about this. Uh, this is a Knife Center exclusive online, and it is in CTX XHP, and that is a really good steel. It's kind of like a powder mellet metal urgy steel of D2, kind of that version, and definitely has some really good edge retention, and it is... Definitely performs well, especially with this full flat grind and this really nice blade shape with giving you like a lot of belly. Not a whole ton of flat portion, but just enough to get by with most EDC tasks. Another great part about this blade is that it's fairly inexpensive for the price because it comes in right around $90 for this one. The CTS BD1 steel comes around, I want to say... Uh, around $80 and then they have a couple other versions with different steels that are a little bit more pricey but then also you get the better steel so you kind of have to compromise depending on your situation moving on this handle this FRN makes this knife super lightweight and there's no steel liners in there so this is just plastic and then you got the blade so it is extremely lightweight um for the size knife you get at around a 3.37 ish inch blade and definitely some amazing ergonomics this is definitely one of the best ergonomical knives out there it just fits your hand so well i wear about like a medium to large size hand glove sorry and it just fits perfectly especially in that forward finger toil everything just kind of sits well in there um another really good part about this knife is the pocket clip so this is spyderco's wire clip definitely on a couple of their models and it is absolutely amazing uh goes in and out of the pocket extremely well and they even placed it on the smooth part of the frn so it doesn't rough up your pockets near as much um and probably the last pro is this lock so it's a definitely a very strong lock. It is a ball bearing lock. So in there you can see there is a spring pushing that black ball bearing cage into the blade. And then it goes into a notch making it a super strong lock. So you have a very strong locking blade with some great steel and a very light package. And a very easy to carry package with that clip. But there are some cons to this blade, I can see. Uh, personally, it's almost a little too light with that FRN not having any weight to it. And that blade stock being so thin that it's almost like too lightweight and a little blade heavy as you can see. Like, when you try to balance that, it's, it's blade heavy and it goes towards the blade. So, I don't know, it just gives a very interesting feel in the hand. As well as it's not like super smooth like you'd think of like a Benchmade access lock. Like it goes out very well but it doesn't come back in nearly as nice. And it doesn't drop down at all. And definitely has some like pressure within it. So definitely not nearly as smooth as like a Benchmade access lock. Um, And then the FRN making it so light it doesn't feel super high quality or anything like a g10 wood or anything of that nature or even metal itself it just kind of gives the knife a slightly cheaper feeling than what it would be if it was a different material and they do make the manix 2 in different materials this just happens to be the lightweight version in cts xhp and then probably the last bad part about it is as you can see uh, there's no screws except for the pivot, and that means the rest of it is pinned together, except for the pocket clip. So that means you can't fully disassemble your knife, even though it already 
void Spyderco's warranty to disassemble it to begin with. It still is nice to typically clean your knife, so definitely not a great part about owning this one, or the lightweight version. But yeah, I mean, I, you know, kind of my final conclusion with this, it's a really good blade for the price, and if you're willing to put up with a couple of the cons that I mentioned, it'll definitely be, like, perfect for you, especially if you want something where you're going to be just absolutely cutting all day, every day. This would be an absolutely fantastic knife for you because of the ergonomics on it, and the ergonomics are just so great on this, and if you want a really lightweight package that is easy to carry and everything, this is another really good knife to do that, and for the price of right around 80 to to $100, uh, depending on what steel you get, for a USA-made knife with really high quality and tolerances, I think that this is a pretty good uh, EDC blade so yeah that was my review of the Spyderco Manix 2 lightweight catch you on the next review guys